officers are arresting four people accused of shooting a man as well as damaging homes and cars. Police say a 47 year old man was shot on Flat Rock Street just before 8 o'clock last night. Officers say the man was shot at several times by four men inside a car. He was taken to the hospital and is said to be in stable condition this morning. Police do not believe he was the intended target. A few minutes later, they responded to another shots fire call on Spa Corp. No one was hurt there. Two cars and two homes were damaged. Christopher Johnson Moore, Ike Johnson Moore, Graham Moore, and Marcus Cheney were all arrested earlier this morning. They are each facing several charges. Right now, police are not releasing their mug shots. Well, some communities in the triad are preparing to stay at home for the next few weeks. The orders will take effect Friday at 5 o'clock. We do want to be clear this morning. There is no not a statewide stay at home order for North Carolina. Governor Rick Hooper says the state will announce more restrictions and regulations to stop the spread of COVID-19 sometime in the next few days. But in the meantime, he shared this message for North Carolina. And local communities are doing what they think is right. And I understand that. It's important for us to make sure that we are deliberate and that we get this right. We're telling people now that we want, we want them to stay home. And leaders of the three largest cities in the Piedmont Triad have all issued that stay at home order. Brandon Bates explains how these orders will impact your life. I think the time to act is now. Um, I think the virus is here now. Stay in your home unless you need to leave. That's the message from city leaders on all ends of the triad. The mayor of Winston-Salem saying this needed to happen now to prevent local hospitals from being overwhelmed with possible patients. We, we are getting strong requests uh, and urgings from the two large medical centers here in the city uh, at Baptist as well as Novant saying we need to do this now because uh, if the, the brunt of the virus uh, growth occurs the way they're afraid it will be, it will overwhelm our two medical centers. This stay-at-home order goes into effect for Winston-Salem, Clemens, and Guilford County Friday evening at 5 p.m. This means you must stay home unless you're performing an essential task like getting getting groceries, medication, food, helping the elderly, etc. According to the order, you are still allowed to leave your home for things like exercise, walking dogs, jogging, even golfing, as long as you remain six feet away from others. While grocery stores will remain open, Jay Wagner, the mayor of High Point, has a message for shoppers. This is not an excuse between now and 5 o'clock Friday for everybody to go to the grocery store and stock up on food and stock up on medicine and stock up on toilet paper, okay? There's plenty of food, folks. And many people will still be out as several businesses are open and people are still working. Essential workers include people in the medical field, certain government workers, grocery store, gas station employees, truck drivers, and law enforcement, to name a few. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn wanted to highlight that fact that her city is not shutting down. For many people, life will go on fairly undisturbed. For others, th there are some significant economic impacts. City officials say this order can be enforced by police, but they aren't out to write tickets or send people to jail. They just want people to know how important it is to listen to this order.